in Whitehorse after some delays with our flight, but we have finally made it and it is very pretty and very warm today. to see these intrepid souls setting up their own raft and recreating the journey of the prospectors back in the day, going all the way from Whitehorse to Dawson City. quiet, not too many people, but uh, lots of old buildings and lots and lots of history. Okay, this is really weird. It's like five after 11 at night and it's still light out. And we just <laughs> finished sucking back some toe cocktails. Sour right? toe cocktail. Sour toe cocktails over at the Sour Dough <laughs> Hotel. Hotel, pub. And um, I think it's still like an hour of daylight here. We're heading over to the Diamond Gertie's. We're just getting started. 
Yeah, we're just getting started. We're heading over to Diamond Gerties yeah. to do some gambling and Diamond um, Tooth Gerties. Diamond Tooth Gerties to do some gambling and some uh, showgirls. Apparently it gets <laughs> much more racy at midnight, so we held out for the midnight show. because this is the whole purpose of our journey. It's a little bit cloudy, but it's not bad weather, and uh, we're excited to get started. We are at the Tombstone Interpretive Center. So we're, what, 80 or 90 kilometers into the Dempster Highway now. And the scenery is just spectacular. Dramatic. It's dramatic, actually, that's the word for it. this Ogilby viewpoint and if it wasn't clouded in it'd be quite spectacular. We'll have to catch this on the way back. It's a big valley below us but we're in the clouds at four degrees Celsius right now.
Street, Fort McPherson. Now we're at the second ferry crossing. What's the name of this community? Siklatich or something like that? It's very difficult to name. Final stretch, almost in Inuvik. It's vast and it's somewhat magical and it's just God's country. It's yeah. beautiful. Quick debrief from last night or from yesterday? From yesterday? Mm -hmm. We covered a lot of ground yesterday, I don't know, like eight hours of driving maybe, maybe more. I can't remember but exactly. But not a lot of miles. Not a lot of miles, but we covered, we went over the Arctic Circle, that was quite something. We went from the Yukon into the Northwest Territories, that was quite something. The terrain is the same for a long time and then it just suddenly changes and it's entirely different. It's quite amazing. There's still trees, like there's still trees around, even here. one more leg of our journey to go to Tuktoyaktuk. We were going to stay the day here in Inuvik, but uh, we've decided because it's such a beautiful day we're going to take advantage and keep going to Tuktoyaktuk and come back to Inuvik tomorrow. We are on the road to Tuk, 142 kilometers from
and Tuck. And the weather has shifted dramatically. It was so nice and clear and sunny yesterday. Today's raining. So we're just driving around a bit. A lot of things are closed. Uh, it's still kind of interesting. This is just a little side street here with houses. We're coming up on a pingo, which uh, we're going to climb. We're going to climb and get the view. We are at the Yukon Northwest Territories border heading south. It is awesome. It's awesome. Plus three. Roads are slippery as hell. We've been in this fog bank for quite a while. Shortly after the uh, last video clip last night, we decided to pack it in. The fog was getting really bad and it was uh, just. Uh, might have been getting worse so we didn't want to take a chance very few places to pull out here so we ended up turning around and staying at this uh, exactly at the border Northwest Territories in Yukon and packed it in for the night and woke up to snow in August it's like August uh, 11th today stopped for a coffee because it's a long trip and it takes a long time. We are um, enjoying ourselves and are back in the Yukon but it's still really quite foggy today. What was cool was we got to spend the night at the border of the two and if you walk to one end of the parking lot it was 8 30 and at the other end of the parking lot it was 9 30 because it was a one hour time difference between the different territories so i thought that was kind of cool 
What wasn't so cool was that it was very cold. It wasn't cool that it was cool. Yeah. <laughs> this is what to look forward to on the Dempster Highway. Your uh, side step rails, your side rails are always going to be muddy, so you're always stepping over them. Your door handles, muddy, so you're always going to have mud on your hands. And this is the back of the vehicle. You're always going to get muddy folding your stairs down and trying to get into your door. Good thing is, photo radar is no good here because nobody would know what your license plate is. But in general, very worthwhile. And we're just a couple hundred kilometers from being finished back at the uh, start of the Dempster and the sun's coming out. Looking like we're gonna get some good weather again. We are at Tombstone National Park. All of a sudden the temperature is a lot nicer again. And we got into the campground here. Took a little bit of finagling, but we got ourselves a spot. And we're surrounded by beautiful scenery and mountains. And it's great. So nice dinner, met a couple of guys from uh, Whitehorse. Had some caribou smokies. Very good. camped in this little getaway. Uh, it's a highway pullout, just uh, two-thirds of the way between Whitehorse and Haynes Junction. So we just uh, ran out of steam. It's like seven, uh, actually almost eight o'clock. We pulled into this uh, roadside rest station pullout and um, it says no overnight camping but one of the locals said that nobody cares so Said we won't get bothered tonight, so here we are. finished the Sheep's Creek Trail. It's a 10 kilometer round trip. We've only at the 5k point. This is the top. The views are amazing. We didn't see any sheep. Thankfully we also didn't see any grizzlies. <laughs> no kidding. And we're just enjoying the view. And now we're gonna head back. And let's hope there's no grizzlies on the way back. They warned us there was one kind of juvenile Grizz that's been a year separated from his mom and he's roaming around. He's still curious, he hasn't learned the fear of humans yet, so they told us to be a little bit careful. So we have 
we have our bona fide assembled in Canada bear spray. So we're we're covered. <laughs>